Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brandon Lee uh, bringing you another video, Windows Server 2022, and we're going to look at core version today. And specifically, we're going to look at the management of Windows Server 2022 core. Now, as you all are familiar, uh, the core version of Windows Server is headless, <clears throat> meaning that um, it's an oxymoron. It doesn't really have windows uh, that present themselves uh, as such on the core version because everything is pretty much looks like a DOS prompt. Uh, now there are some specific uh, management utilities that we will uh, take a look at briefly uh, in this overview. So what I have here is a Windows Server 2022 core fresh installation. So what I'm gonna do is log in and it's asking me to change the password for the first time. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to set up the initial password, uh, type or actually press enter. And what you're gonna see, if you've never seen this before with previous versions of the core operating system for Windows Server, is you see a utility that is referred to uh, by the command itself, the sconfig utility. And you see that noted here in the um, in the command box that it brings up, sconfig. In fact, it gives you the command that you can actually tell the uh, Windows core installation not to prompt or bring up the sconfig utility. But what the sconfig utility is, as you can see, there's around 15 different menu items that uh, you can use to get an initial configuration on your Windows Server 2022 core server. So everything from uh, changing the computer name uh, here to joining a domain. Uh, and incidentally, if you choose option one, you can actually choose or change the computer name as well as join the uh, domain all in one fell swoop. So you don't have to do option two first and then do option one. So changing the computer name, joining a domain, you have remote management uh, options, which I can show you what some of those are. Um, some of these are enabled by default. So as you can see, pretty basic uh, remote management is set to enabled and server response to ping is set to disabled. So if we want to uh, enable ping responses from our Windows Server 2022 core installation, we can do that. Um, we can enable or disable remote management uh, via uh, WinRM. Uh, so some interesting things there that we can do. Um, also, you want to uh, most likely configure your network settings, especially if this is a truly production box, you're probably going to want to set a static IP address, which you can do that here with the network settings in sconfig. Uh, again, I'm not going to make any changes here with this installation. Uh, notice remote desktop, you can enable remote desktop on your core installation of server 2022. So that may be something you want to uh, do as part of that initial configuration. Uh, activate Windows, install updates, uh, log on, log off, shut down, restart the server. You can also uh, choose option 15, which basically allows you to get to a uh, PowerShell prompt. So, uh, so you can actually execute, if I can type here, you can execute PowerShell commands remotely, or, or natively, I should say, from this window. So it's just like a built-in PowerShell command prompt. If you want to get back to sconfig, you literally just type sconfig either from the PowerShell menu or uh, a command prompt. It will bring you back to uh, this configuration. So with a headless operating system, uh, this is a convenient way that Microsoft has built into the core operating systems. And I was interested to see when I spun up my first 2022 core installation, if they had made any changes, uh, which really they haven't. The only thing I noticed is with option 15, this used to take you to a normal command prompt instead of PowerShell. Uh, but across the board, they are adopting PowerShell as, as kind of that built-in native uh, command prompt uh, utility that uh, is their standard moving forward. 
So what I would like to do now is I'm gonna get it to another machine and I'm going to show you guys once you get to the initial configuration, uh, once you have that set on your Windows Server 2022 core uh, installation, um, you most likely don't want to do the rest of your configuration from the command line. Now, this has been the hurdle that has uh, been the blocker or the major blocker to adoption of the core uh, version of Windows Server OS. Uh, as historically, Microsoft has not had a great way to kind of take it forward to manage these core installations seamlessly like administrators would like to do. Well, that all changed in Server 2019 with the introduction of Windows Admin Center. Windows Admin Center is the browser-based management that you guys have no doubt seen uh, in times past or blog articles. I have written several uh, covering the functionality of that utility. So Windows Admin Center is a game changer as far as server core is concerned. So what I wanna do is hop over to Windows Admin Center. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple of things to this core installation. Uh, to get ready for that and i'll see you guys back here in just a second all right guys we are back and in our previous video we looked at sconfig the menu that you see presented here so i've done a couple of things renamed the box did a couple other tweaks to customize the server for my network uh, so what we want to do is now move beyond sconfig so how do you configure a server core installation without having to use sconfig although it's a great utility for what it does you don't want to use it for uh, other aspects and quite frankly you can't use it for certain things it's very limited in in form and function so how do we move forward with the uh, customizing and continued configuration of our windows server 2022 core installation well that's where windows admin center uh, comes into play. So let's take a quick look at Windows Admin Center. Okay, so we have Windows Admin Center pulled up and just to level set, I am running this installation of Windows Admin Center on another uh, GUI installation of Windows Server 2022. So I have the one of the preview versions of Windows Admin Center installed. Uh, so what I'm going to do is add the Windows Server 2022 core installation to this uh, Windows Admin Center. So if you haven't seen this, Windows Admin Center, it's a completely browser-based tool. So I've installed it in gateway mode, which means uh, I can basically connect to this server and manage other servers that have been added to this installation of Windows Admin Center. So what I'm gonna do is add uh, click on add and then I'm going to add or create resources lots of possibilities here you can uh, manage PCs you can manage uh, server clusters if you want to set up HCI or software defined uh, storage Azure VMs so they have really expanded a lot of the functionality but we're simply going to do servers I'm going to click add and here we have our uh, server name field and we're going to, if I can remember the uh, server name that I chose here. So win 22 core zero one, and I'm logged in as a local administrator. So I need to enter some domain credentials. Uh, I would not get this prompt if I were logged in with uh, domain credentials on the local box. I neglected to do that. so. Just simply gonna click add and there we go. Successfully added connections, Win22 Core 01. So now we see the server itself noted as the gateway and then we see Win22 Core 01. So I just click that. And as you notice, I didn't have to do anything special. Uh, I didn't do anything special on sconfig. I didn't have to change any of the settings for remote management in sconfig for this to work as long as I'm using credentials that have access to the server. And immediately you see a wealth of information here. So we have a really nice dashboard that shows uh, immediately the configuration of the server, uh, the domain, the RAM, all the physical hardware specs. Now this is a virtual machine that I'm running. Uh, 
Win 22 Core 01 uh, is a VM. So uh, we see the model and some of these things that uh, reflect that it is a virtual machine. So you automatically, you're getting a wealth of information. All kinds of controls at your fingertips, restart, shutdown, disk metrics, uh, refreshing your uh, statistical information that's being displayed. But over to the left, this is where we really get into some uh, powerful, robust features, especially when you're thinking about moving forward with configuring your Windows Server 2022 core installation. And this is where Admin Center really um, makes a huge difference. And in my opinion, is going to remove those blockers that have been there for core installations of Windows Server. So for instance, I can now click on familiar uh, menu items uh, that enable me to now configure this server. Note, I've clicked on firewall. I can add incoming firewall rules. I can edit those. I can add outgoing rules. Uh, note local users and groups. If there are specific users I need to create for my environment, if I'm not running some uh, configuration management script, which most likely in production you would be, uh, but still a nice feature. You can go in here, manage group memberships, all the expected functionality. Um, notice uh, PowerShell. I can click on PowerShell and I automatically am taken to an interactive PowerShell prompt that is being remotely um, cast onto the machine, uh, the Win22 Core 01 box. So I'm there, all I have to do is authenticate and I can start uh, running PowerShell commands on the remote server. I can see the processes uh, that are active on the box. I can edit the registry. Um, and again, think about if in a traditional sense, I was having to uh, connect management consoles and remote management consoles and all of these different tools that I would have to be using to perform all of these things. Uh, I can uh, configure remote desktop or excuse me, I can connect to remote desktop uh, using this menu. So if I do this here directly from Windows Admin Center, I'm presented with the remote desktop session. Schedule task, uh, but note roles and features. So how about this, remotely I can connect to the server and let's say I want uh, this box to be a domain controller. I want it to be a file server, a DHCP server. <clears throat> So I can do all of those things from this menu. Um, so extremely powerful. All you have to do is click the role or feature that you want to install and place a check by it. You can uh, install the sub features, click install. That simple. Uh, security, uh, you have, and I don't think I have the, yes, I actually do. So. A new beta feature, if you're in the Insider feed of Windows Admin Center features, you get the Secured Core, uh, which is an extremely powerful uh, piece to this security dashboard. The new uh, security uh, Secured Core functionality allows you to have quick visibility to all of the baseline standards that Microsoft uh, recommends for a Windows server. Storage, storage migration service, storage replica, system insights. And uh, what about Windows updates? I can click the updates dashboard and I have uh, automatically the server start scanning in to find the Windows updates that it is missing. And note all the features that you can control uh, with this functionality. So tremendously powerful when we think about Windows Server 2022 management uh, features for Windows Server 2022 Core Edition. So sconfig for getting the server initially configured, then Windows Admin Center for the win uh, for configuring and um, finalizing that installation of your Windows Server uh, 2022 Core installation. Again, I'm Brandon Lee, and I hope you enjoyed this overview video of Windows Server 2022 Core as well as those features that allow you to 
uh, get your server up and running, manage, manage it efficiently, effectively, and um, finalize your installation of your production server.